First down from the 15 yard line. Here comes the blitz. Harris stands in and throws, and the pass is caught. As the pass is grabbed by Tory Gurley, and Gurley out of bounds. At the 21 yard line, good for Toronto. First down. Nice job by Brandon Whitaker sliding over and picking up the little pressure off the edge, and then the ball was spotted nicely by Trevor Harris. It's amazing, Matt, when you think about it, Canadian Football League teams on average score a touchdown about 18 percent of the time that they start a drive inside their 20. It's hard to put together a long drive against the air. Yeah, it's, and you got two downs to work with, and that's why it's so hard is because to be consistent up the field, you know, now you look, this is a perfect example. You're, you miss on first and 10, you're looking at second and 10. Defense is going to play off, not going to give you anything deep so you can push the ball down the field. Make you throw underneath. They're going to rally up and make tackles. And that's why it's difficult when you're backed up like this to be consistent for 90 yards down the football field. Getting majors. Not going to happen. So now on second and 10, four man rush. Harris trying to throw underneath. The pass is batted down. Blocked at the line. And once again, there's Capicotti with the hand up. And Toronto will have to punt. Kevin Cotty is just absolutely wreaking havoc right now. Having a good ball game, and he needs it. Seven-point game, need those plays. He's got a sack, got a knockdown, a tackle for a loss. Yeah, he's right here. He's right there. Can't get there? Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Well, you got the gist of it anyway. So now Swayze Waters. Stands back and Scott Milanovic. Timeout. Cross timeout. Might not have had the right personnel on the field. So Toronto uses one of its two timeouts. Waters boomed one 58 yards the last time he kicked. You see Scott Down and the special teams coach for the Toronto Argonauts. We're in the fourth level here at Rogers Center, and that ball went over our heads. It did. Yeah. It was like we had to lean forward to see where the ball was actually going. It's averaging almost 50 yards a punt. And he cranked this one, too. <laughs> Williams back at his 35 yard line. They're going to call this no yards against Toronto. As the yard goes, Travis Hawkins is inside five yards. So a booming kick will be negated somewhat by the penalty. Ernest Jackson's having a big afternoon for Ottawa. Down by seven to Toronto in a crucial East Division matchup on the CFL on TSN. Has not suffered a quarterback sack in the football game this afternoon. Henry Burris, by the way, is having himself a pretty good day at quarterback for Ottawa. He's completed 11 straight. He's 21 of 23 for 310 yards so far today. Yeah, it's scrappy too. You know, oftentimes it, you know, sometimes it's pretty, and sometimes it's just sheer will and using this athleticism we've seen for 16 years in the CFL. And uh, the guy just all of a sudden you look down, and it's like, oh my goodness, look at these numbers. This is the closest they've had to a short field to start a drive because of the new yards penalty. They'll start at their own 50, but for the most part, they've had poor field position all day. Let's see if that changes things. His 81st career 300 yard game. Here comes the blitz. And Burris throws Ernest Jackson has it. And the tackle is made there by Travis Hawkins. But Ernest Jackson again moves the sticks for Ottawa. He had two catches for 77 yards on their 85 yard touchdown drive in the first half. Here he's got 16. Yellow point fake to run it back and an ISO to draw the coverage. And it does and opens up a lane over the top and Henry sticks it in there like a little hot throw and made that look easy. Now for the Toronto 44. Point fake, throw it underneath the pass to Johnson, but Jeremiah Johnson, nothing doing there. And again, Thomas Miles there very quickly for Toronto. Miles, the second year man out of Manitoba, having a pretty good afternoon for Toronto. Yeah, it's not only Miles, but it's, it, it's, it's a bunch of a bunch of the Argonauts rallying to the football. And this is what you want in space. Here they come, watch them swarm. Three, four defenders right there. 
Vincent Agnew there as well. So once again, second and long for Ottawa. Down seven, 245 to go in the third quarter. Burris under pressure from Agnew gets away. Now Henry Burris got a long way to go. He needs the 33 yard line. He dives ahead. He might have it. That's pretty impressive. That's 40 years old. Uh, and yeah, he got it, Matt. Yeah, he did. He's just adding to his numbers. Henry Burris is showing you. He saw it the whole way. Stepped up so he wouldn't get picked off. And I mean, in his career, he's got 893 carries coming to this game for 5,014, 413 yards. Tack out a few more. Jeremiah Johnson with the carry on first down. Corey Greenwood got a hand on him and limit the game. He's a leading, as far as average per carry, leading rusher for the Red Blacks, and that's that doesn't spell a pretty or paint a pretty picture. No, when, the, when your 40-year-old quarterback is your best guy with the ball, averages 4.7 yards a carry. He's going to increase that with that run. Johnson has nine carries, just 30 yards in the game. Now what they anticipated coming in was sitting down Siobhan Walker and going to Jeremiah Johnson. Second and long, Burris throws. The pass is caught by Johnson. He's got a first down to the 20-yard line. Thomas Miles makes the stop, but again, the chains move. An impressive march by Ottawa. Yeah, it, it, to me, this is just, this is this is like an NFL type of play. You got, you got split backs out of gun, and you're just going to leak the back out one on one with the linebacker and run in front of them and pitching and catching. Nice job by Jeremiah Johnson and Henry Burris taking advantage of the one on one matchup. Ottawa not quite yet in the red zone, just in too short. Here's Johnson again. Vega gets an arm on him and he's down to the 17 yard line for a gain of three. Ottawa, nine for 18 in the red zone so far this year. Yeah, they're 50% they're tied for second last with three other teams at 50% in the league in the red zone. At nine of 18 coming in. And, uh, just they need to be good at it right here. Second and seven. Got to move the sticks here. They've been good on second and long on this drive. See if they can do it again. Toronto shows blitz. Here it comes. Burris fires. Pass is caught. Williams has it. And a first down inside the 10, down to the six. Henry feels the pressure, knows how much time he has, and finds Williams. But this is all Burris. Watch Burris if he can. He feels pressure. It's picked up by his back, spots the football. With timing, that's important. Gives Williams a chance to do something with it afterwards. Late substitution, Patrick Lavoie comes in. Fullback for some extra blocking protection on first and goal. From the six. Now Burris changing the play. It's a direct snap. Oh, man. And Johnson takes the handoff. <laughs> That's an interesting little move there. Yeah, they're trying to trick him. You know, doing everything they can to. So Burris leaves the pocket. <laughs> Back at Toronto, the numbers after three quarters of play, and Ottawa with a wide edge in passing yards and in total yards. Three quarterback sacks by Ottawa as well, but it's the Argos ahead by seven. Gord Miller back here with Matt Dunnigan. And Matt, the sleeper play has been outlawed. You can't do that thing where you stand by the sidelines. How about Hank? But Ottawa tried one there, and it almost worked. He's walking away, trying, oh, we're going punch, we're going punch. He walks away, tries to draw the defense's attention, and Brad Sinopoli slides in there in shotgun formation, runs a little ISO play. I think he reaches it, pulls it right there. I think he might score, but he <laughs> handed it off. Brad going back to the old days. Yes, sir. I liked him as a quarterback, and I was rooting for him. I thought he had all the skill set to play the position at this level, and it just couldn't break through. But with his athletic talent, they found him a nice position at receiver, and he gets it done in a lot of different ways. For him. So second and goal now from the two. Give to Johnson. Touchdown. Oh, he was toying with the Argos. Jeremiah Johnson in and dancing. And with a point after, Ottawa can tie it up. He 
dance to the end zone. When he got there, he did a little more dancing. It looks like a bust right there. It Henry just like barely bust, got it? to it. I kind of, I think, it, I think visually, it it caught Toronto off guard too, and he had two defenders on the outside. And hey, hit it down hey, it was going. Well, that was, was strange, but whatever, it worked. Second touchdown of the game for Jeremiah Johnson. Interesting, Matt. That two-point converts are up around 73 percent this year, but teams are still opting for the one far more often. Yeah, and I think every coach has his own take and why they go for it and whatnot, but it all comes down to time of the game and certainly the score. And here's a touchdown one more time, and it looks like a busted play. It catches Toronto kind of in an awkward situation there, and it's kind of flat-footed. Nice move there by Johnson. High steps in the end zone. Nice. Does a little dance, too. There it is again. That little cut right there in that explosion. Oregon Duck is not used to playing these conservative uniforms. Yeah, absolutely. Oregon setting the pace for all other. They, they've taken neon to a whole new level. Yeah, and, they, and, and they've taken a number of uniforms to a completely different level. Absolutely phenomenal the, what they roll out with from week to week. Putting a lot, of, a lot of pressure on a lot of other universities to do the same, and high schools for that point, for that matter. So here you go, a tie game in the fourth quarter. So Ottawa coming off that really the spiriting loss last week in Calgary. But in that chase trying to keep pace with the red hot Hamilton Tie Cats in the East Division. This kick down to Let Deontay Spencer at the eight yard line. He elects to pick it up. And Spencer gets blasted out of bounds at the 23 yard line. I would have let that go. And then I would take the ball at the 45. Travis Brown down to help make the stop. And there's an injured Ottawa player. It's Vincent Deloge. Those are good numbers by Trevor Harris, but they pale in comparison to Henry Burris. Henry Burris is on fire. He's only missed two passes. But Deloge, the injured Ottawa player, is on the sideline, out of bounds, rather. So they're attending to him, and I believe they will hold up. Well, he's attended to that close to the playing field. Just kind of gets rolled up on. Brown was in on him, number 43, Travis Brown. So once again, Toronto trying to win this seesaw battle of field position. Argos lead the league in touchdowns coming in. Tie ball game. Just started the fourth quarter. Average field position for Toronto. A lot of football to be played here. Be smart. By the way, Ottawa this year, Matt, three and zero in games decided by four points or less. There's a difference in that team this year and last. Harris. Oh, there he got intercepted, going back the other way. Gerald Gavins. Touchdown, Ottawa. Just like that. Jumped it. Offensive lineman down there too for Toronto. Chris Van Zyl. No. So Gavins picks it off and takes it to the house, and the season of defensive touchdowns in the CFL continue. Wow. Tr trying to hit Gurley on a little slant, and boy, he just jumped it the whole way. Trevor Harris took the snap, looked that way immediately, and threw the ball. And Gavin said, thank you very much. Second defensive touchdown of the season for Ottawa. You may remember the first when Zach Evans picked off a shovel pass in Edmonton and took it to the house. That was great to see. Terrell Gavin's third interception on the year fifth of his career. So the change in quarter brings a dramatic change in fortunes in this game as Ottawa scores twice in less than two minutes. And here's one little busted play. Nice move right. Ooh, little jump cut by Jeremiah Johnson. And then here, Gavin saying thank you, Trevor. Pick six. And meantime, the streak is over for Trevor, Trevor Harris. That was his 175th pass 
and then his first interception. And yeah. take it back to the house. And this is Trevor Harris. This is why that streak's broken, because look at his eyes. He's just staring it down, and Gavin says, thank you. Walks it in for a pick six. Now this time, it's allowed to go out of bounds as Akwasi Owusu Ansa allows it to go out. So an illegal kick taken illegal by Ottawa. Illegal out of bounds. Ottawa, number 41. First down, Toronto. Give you another look at Trevor Harris interception. What a defensive back is looking at. He's looking in at the quarterback. You can see him staring in at Trevor. And look at his eyes right there. Just giving the defensive back an opportunity to jump it. Makes it look easy. And it is because you're looking at the quarterback. He doesn't look you off, doesn't give you any other indication that he's going somewhere else with the football. And he actually delivers it your way. You should have a pretty good jump on the football. I've always wondered this, Matt, the quarterback's mindset going right back on the field after throwing an interception for a touchdown. Gunslinger with a short term memory, and you've got to uh, flush it. First down for the 45, give it off to Brandon Whitaker. So Ottawa now with the lead 24 17. So the Argos in familiar position, once again trailing in the fourth quarter. They've done that now in seven of their eight games this season. That's, that's, uh, that's impressive. And we talked about Trevor Harris being a fighter, battling, winning his fights towards the end of the contest and having to come back and he's dug himself a bit of a hole here. Last week Toronto had just 72 yards in total offense in the second half. But special teams and defense turned it around. Here's Harris. Stands it and throws looking for Whitaker. Incomplete. There on the covers was Malik Jackson. They were hand fighting all the way down. It'll be third down Toronto. And two-way needs to squeeze this one for his young quarterback because that's a big play gets you right back into scoring territory and Trevor spots this one beautifully into him maybe a little push off by Whitaker too on Malik Jackson there's the push off and he can't squeeze it conduct. Ottawa number 22 hang on how about that that'll help that's what objectionable done. conduct called against Brandon McDonald after the play, so instead of the punt unit coming on for Toronto, the offense comes back out, and the Argos will have a first down at the Ottawa 51. Oh, I think he got into Brandon Whitaker's face after he's coming off the field after that drop ball and uh, said something, and the officials caught it. Whoa, so McDonald last week dropped a couple of punts, and now he may have dropped something offensive on the field, and the Argos keep the offense on. Coach Rick Campbell may be dropping an apple on a roadmap in his lap here shortly if he doesn't straighten up. Deontay Spencer takes that pass, dances and dives, and gets a first down to the Ottawa 39 yard line. There you go, that'll get you on track. Get that guy's hands and he'll make everybody miss on the field a couple times before he scores. This is into the short side, coming right at you. Get number 85, see what he's got. First down now from the Ottawa 39. Toronto down by 7, 12 15 to go in the fourth quarter. Here's Whitaker. Puts his head down and gets across the 35, down to the 34 yard line. Yeah, they went double tights there. You know, we saw. We saw Hamilton go with a really offset formation against Edmonton and catch him off guard in the red zone, but this is nice. I like this going double tights, flatten the defense out. Let's go back to what McDonald did. Just talking to Vidal Hazelton. Now, Hazelton got called last week for the same thing. And yeah. McDonald gets objectionable conduct for that. This is a new thing we've seen this year, Matt. All of a sudden, you can't say what you want in the football field. Yeah, I wouldn't have lasted. No, you would not. Harris fires the pass is complete to Coons off and running down to the 15 yard line. He's into the Coons. Good for another Toronto first down. Just a nice mix of talent on the football field for Toronto. You, know, you got Kaku, you got Whitaker, you got Coons, you got Deontay Spencer, then you got the big three receivers, and then you get Chad Owens back hopefully next week, if not in two weeks for the Labor Day game. And well, you got a lot of talent out there to work with if you're a young quarterback in Trevor Harris. You got to be excited about that. Anthony Coombs making it happen. Gain was 20. First down from the 15 yard line. Here comes the rush. Harris to the end zone. Hazleton! Caught it! Touchdown, Toronto! 
bowling for dollars. And your winner is Vanell Hazleton. How about that? And Brandon McDonald plays a major role in turning this game. Absolutely. Kept that drive alive, and Toronto said thank you. I can't believe that he puts the ball where he did because I didn't think that Hazleton was going to go there. I thought he was going to go to the corner, but he went and got that ball because he's got a ton of room out to his left side to the boundary here. I thought he was going to cut out there, and the ball is going to be thrown that way. No, it's thrown more towards the seam, and Hazleton's got to track it. He tracks it right in the booster juice sign and puts six on the board. And Brandon McDonald is going to have some explaining to do when he gets back to the Ottawa sideline. Let's say, got some explaining to do. That's a tough one. And then, Matt, they've called that tight all season so far. Once upon a time, what was said in the field stayed in the field, but now officials will step in and they'll throw the flag for objectionable language or conduct. So now, point after from Waters, who came on to punt a few minutes ago, left the field. And now kicks the point after, and this is a tie game with 10.34 to go in the fourth quarter. Vidal Hazleton with the touchdown grab. And we're even at 24. Touchdown grab on this drive that was extended by Brandon McDonald's objectionable conduct penalty. Coach having a little work with him. Well, Running kind of sharing his side of it, and then he realizes that's on me. Taking accountability. That's good to see. That's what you want. Otherwise, that can be divisive in a hurry. Waters sends his deep to Siobhan Walker at the 10. Walker changed his mind and then got drilled down 